It, it is time today to ban shark fins in the City of Toronto. It is time today for us to become part of a global solution to stop the slaughter of tens of millions of sharks on every point on, on this earth right now. We can be part of a solution and that is what is so exciting. That is why there is such a great honour here and that's why there are so many people here supporting us to say, you know what, we don't want to see sharks go extinct in 10 or 20 years. We don't want to see them wiped off the face of the earth. We have to do something. And what we're going to do with shark fins, we know is going to be successful because we did it with ivory. We did it with elephant tusks. We have to realize now, Toronto has become a nation state. As many other large municipalities around the world, we are now nation states. Actions that we take inside the city of Toronto have impact outside of the city of Toronto. If you go to the store and do something very innocent, you just buy a little puppy from the window. You fall in love with a puppy in the window and you say, all I'm doing inside the city of Toronto is buying a puppy. But the action of buying a puppy in a window in the city of Toronto has a consequence. In rural Ontario, rural Quebec, the United States and down to Mexico where people will open up puppy mills, practice animal cruelty to supply those puppies to the city of Toronto. The actions in Toronto have horrible consequences sometimes outside of our municipal, municipal boundaries. And that's why we have to realize that we have to be part of the solution. That's why we ban the sale of cats and dogs in stores and retail stores in the city of Toronto to try to stop the consequences outside of our boundaries. Look at Ivory. I challenge any member of council today to tell me that they feel discriminated against or treated harshly in any way whatsoever because today, Mr. Speaker, none of us can go across to the Eaton Centre and buy ivory and jewellery. None of us. We can't buy earrings with, uh, with ivory. We can't buy bracelets or necklaces with ivory in them. We can't. Do any of us feel uh, hard done by, by that? No. But what we did as a community around the world was to say, if we want elephants to survive for future generations, we have to stop the slaughter of elephants. The entire elephant is killed just for a tusk, maybe less than, what a funny number, 5% of the animal. The entire animal is being slaughtered and butchered because people value ivory. We've banned it. We didn't ban jewelry. We didn't ban piano keys. We didn't ban earrings. What we did is say, you can have all those things, you just can't use ivory. Today, we're not going to ban soup. People can continue to eat soup. Uh, they've eaten soup for hundreds of years. They can continue to get married as they have for hundreds of years and have a great celebration. People are coming to your wedding because they love you, they want to celebrate, they want to rejoice, they want to mix and mingle with your family. They're not coming because they want to eat a bowl of soup. Mr. Chair, this is the right way to go. And I greatly respect our, our legal staff. They always do the due diligence, the sober second thought, which sometimes we dearly need in this chamber. They've told us every single time we've done something, there is a risk. If you actually do a recycling program, there is a risk that you could be challenged in court. If we followed that advice, we wouldn't have a recycling program today. We wouldn't have banned smoking inside of restaurants. We wouldn't have banned the cosmetic use of pesticides. We wouldn't have done a lot of things that we do because they're the right thing to do. Mr. Speaker, we had over 80 speakers come and depute to our committee. Uh, we reached a compromise motion that under the leadership of Councillor Palazzo, a lot of us were haggling back and forth, I might even say arguing back and forth, and it was the chair of that committee who hammered together a compromise motion that said, this is what I can support as the chair of the committee, that's my job as the chair of the committee, and if people want to fight me, you can fight me, but I'm not going to support anything else. And you know what? We fell in line. All of us came up with a compromise motion that was supported by all of us. Perhaps I didn't get everything I wanted, perhaps other people didn't get everything they wanted, but you know what? It was a compromise, a political compromise, a very democratic compromise, and one that I think we should adopt today. I will support some of the additional uh, motions that have come forward saying we were requesting the federal or provincial government to take action, just like Hazel McCallion, I think those are good things to do. I will not support Councillor Lee's amendment to say that you can have possession of shark fins for, for bona fide educational purposes. I'm afraid that's opening a giant whale of a loophole where people will be able to say, you know what, I've got these fins here, they're just for display purposes, it's just for education, and it'll be business as usual. So I will not support that amendment, but Madam, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I do hope today this council sends a strong message to the world. 
we are going to save sharks on this planet, and it's going to be in Toronto, be in Mississauga, around the world. I hope it goes viral. Thank you, Mr. Chair.